Wait, I thought please is kudasai. Want to use kudasai and onegaishimasu? What's the difference between kudasai and onegaishimasu? What's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference? Konnichiwa, Nihongo Dekita no Sayaka desu. Hey guys, it's Sayaka from Nihongo Dekita. So many of you ask this question, so let me explain the differences and also give you some examples. So without any further ado, let's just dive into it. So let's first take a look at the literal meanings of kudasai and onegaishimasu. Kudasai literally means give me. It can also be used as please because it's used to ask for something tangible like ordering food or going shopping and you're getting something tangible, right? The word origin is it's coming from kureru. Kureru means to give. More so, someone gives me something, kureru. And then its imperative form is kure, which is to like roughly saying give it to me. And then the polite version is kudasai. Whereas onegaishimasu literally means please and it's slightly more polite and humble because there's negai. Negai means hope, wish. And then shimasu is to do. And it's also used to ask for something tangible. So when you order food, when you go to a restaurant, cafe, or when you go shopping, you can use either one of them. For example, you go to a coffee shop and then you order hot coffee, you can say hotto kohi kudasai. Hotto kohi onegaishimasu. Both are okay. Or cafe latte hitotsu kudasai. Cafe latte hitotsu onegaishimasu. Both work because they are both tangible. You can also use this for uh, buying some stuff, not just food. For example, let's say you're getting a stuffed animal Totoro, <laughs> right? And you can say Totoro no nuigurumi o kudasai. Totoro no nuigurumi o onegaishimasu. And then you'll get something like this. <laughs> So again, both are used to ask for a tangible thing. But now, what's the difference, right? So kudasai is used to ask for something tangible only. And then there are more, which I will talk about later. But for now, whenever we're using noun before kudasai or onegaishimasu, only for tangible stuff. Whereas onegaishimasu can also ask for service and action. Let me give you five examples. And take notes because those phrases will be useful for when you come to Japan. So example number one. If you couldn't hear what Japanese person said and you want them to repeat, you can say もう一度 onegaishimasu. もう一度. Once more. onegaishimasu. Please. The literal translation would be once more please. But what you're actually asking is, could you repeat one more time, please? If you say, もう一度 kudasai, it doesn't work because もう一度 once more is not tangible. You can't really get that in your hand or touch it. You're asking them to repeat again. And you don't have to say the word repeat because Japanese is highly contextualized language. As long as it's obvious what you're asking in the context, you don't have to mention it. So you can just say, もう一度お願いします。もう一度お願いします。もう一度お願いします。もう一度お願いします。もう一度お願いします。Example example number two. Let's say you want to go to Shibuya, right? And you're taking either taxi or maybe you're getting the train ticket. You can say this phrase. Shibuya made onegaishimasu. Shibuya is the location name. Made is to. Onegaishimasu, please. So it literally means to Shibuya, please. But uh, if you're getting on taxi, that means can you take me to Shibuya? Can you go to Shibuya? And if you're getting the train ticket, you're saying can I get a ticket to Shibuya, please? Right? And then it's in the context, so don't worry, you don't have to know all the words. So if you say Shibuya made kudasai, this doesn't work because again, Shibuya made to Shibuya is not tangible. Next example is if you're on the phone and calling some business and then you want to talk to this specific person, let's name the person Tanaka san, you can say, Tanaka san onegaishimasu. Tanaka san onegaishimasu which is Tanaka san, please. It actually means, can I speak to Tanaka? Now, for this one, you want to be very careful because if you say, Tanaka san kudasai, well, Tanaka san might be tangible, but it sounds like you're actually physically wanting Tanaka san to be yours. It sounds like you propose to Tanaka san and you're asking Tanaka san's parents to give you Tanaka san to be yours. So be careful. Next one is if you go to a restaurant and you want to pay, you can say, 
すみませんお会計お願いしますお会計お願いします If you look at the meaning of お会計 it says check or bill so it will be a bill please or check please wait it's tangible right but お会計 actually means the action of paying so it doesn't mean the slip the bill so お会計お願いします works But お会計ください does not work. If you are literally asking for the paper bill, you can say 伝票ください or 伝票お願いします。伝票 will mean the slip. Now, last example is let's say you drop your phone and then your screen is just broken. You go to the repair shop and then you say すみません、修理お願いします。修理お願いします。Shuri means repairing. It's a noun. So, shuri o n e g a i s h i m a s is repairing, please. Could you repair this for me, please? And repairing is a service or action, so you can't say shuri kudasai. That'll be wrong. Now, if you watch anime or Japanese TV shows, you might be thinking, wait, then what about yamete kudasai? What about matte kudasai? They're literally asking for actions, but、uh, using kudasai? How, how does that work? Good question. Those are actually different grammar patterns. They are using verbs. So, yamete and matte, they are te form of verbs. When you use te form of verbs, you can use kudasai and ask for、uh, action. And then for this one, you can't use onegaishimasu. Like, for example, yamete is coming from yameru to stop. So, yamete kudasai works to say please stop. But if you say yamete onegaishimasu, This is wrong because you are using the te form. Te form verbs should connect what s kudasai to form please do something pattern. Same for matte kudasai. Matte is te form of matsu to wait. Matte, matte kudasai! Now, if you don't know how to conjugate te form, watch this video right here. If you want someone to look at something, maybe you're showing a picture of your family or your dogs, and then you can show. Mite kudasai. Miru is the dictionary form, and then mite is the te form. So, mite kudasai. Or I can say, Watashi no video o maishu mite kudasai. It's just that sentence pattern for please do something is te form plus kudasai. And there are other forms that you might have heard at train station, maybe. Have you heard of Mamonaku densha ga maerimasu? I don't think that sounded like a train station voice. <laughs> anyway, that one was saying, Mamonaku, soon, densha, train, ga, maimas, is coming, kiroi sen,、uh, yellow line, no, uchigawa, inside, ni, hatte,、uh, stand, by standing, o m a c h i k u d a s a i Please wait. Now, the last part, o m a c h i k u d a s a i is please wait. And then this is not using o n e g a i s h i m a s because o m a c h i o n e g a i s h i m a s this is not the correct sentence pattern. So, matte kudasai, formal. o m a c h i k u d a s a i is even more formal, like polite. But I'm just gonna quickly go over this, but it's o plus verb stem. Verb stem is the mas form without masu, kudasai. So, o m a c h i k u d a s a i Because matsu to wait, which is a dictionary form, matsu turns into machimas in mas form, and you don't need mas, so omachi kudasai, please wait, to ask someone to wait, very politely. Or if you go to a restaurant, you might hear, Go to mon ga kimari mashita ra, so chira no botan de o yobi kudasai. Go to mon ga kimari mashita ra, so chira no botan de o yobi kudasai. So, when you go to a Japanese restaurant, you might see a button on the table to call the waiter. And they might tell you, Chumon order ga kimarimashitara when you decided, so chira no botan de, by that button right there, o yobi kudasai, please call. So, yobi's dictionary form is yobu to call. And the mas form is yobi mas, yobi mas, and you don't need mas, so o yobi kudasai to say, Please call me. And there's another format. I know, there's a lot. For example, you might have heard on the train, Shimaru doa ni go chui kudasai. Shimaru doa ni go chui kudasai. Shimaru is closing. Doa is door. So closing door. 
ご注意ください。Watch out. Be careful. If you're using group one verb or in other words, irregular verb, you can use the noun part. So for example, for this one, 注意する is to be careful. And you can just omit する and then add ご in the beginning to say ご注意ください。And for this one again, you can't say ご注意お願いします。That doesn't work. The sentence format can be used to make a request for yourself. It has to be for somebody else. So this is a phrase that a lot of Japanese YouTubers say at the end of the video. この動画がいいなと思ったら高評価をお願いします。I guess you can guess from the, the gesture. But この動画が this video いいな It's good. と思ったら if you think so, 高評価 thumbs up. It literally means good evaluation, but thumbs up. をお願いします。高評価をお願いします。And it literally helps me so much. So お願いします。If you say 高評価をください、it doesn't work because 高評価 is not tangible. I hope this video answered your questions, and if you liked it. 高評価をお願いします。It will help me so much. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. 今日も最後まで見てくれてありがとう。I'll see you in the next one. またねー。